Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I come up with a video uh, where we I'm going to use system dot speech library, especially a speech synthesizer. Uh, this is from .NET, and uh, what we're gonna make we're gonna make a, a, a Windows Forms application where uh, we can use as a text to speech application. You can input some text, and the computer gonna generate the voice the the uh, human speech for uh, for the text that you have inputted so uh, as i said uh, i'm going to make a windows forms application using c sharp dot net uh, language and the framework so for that uh, i will open my uh, visual studio 2022 late the latest version and i will type for the windows forms app where you can see a project template for creating .NET Windows Forms app. So I'll select this uh, with the .NET framework. So uh, Windows Forms app with .NET framework. So I'll create this one that uh, I will I will give a, a name called uh, text to speech. The project name will be text to, to speech, and the solution name is text to to speech as well you can select the uh, library I'm going to select 4.7.2 and uh, create the project so our uh, Windows Forms uh, application project has been created now so now we have a, a default form here as I said before I gonna use a system dot speech uh, library so for that uh, I will go to references and click on the uh, add reference and look for uh, look in the assemblies framework look for the system uh, dot speech so you will see the version 4.0 so I'll select the library and add to the project so uh, now you can see here in uh, the project the library has been successfully added so now we need some uh, competence in the uh, in the Windows Forms app, such as uh, uh, so, I will I will go here. We need a text input area for that. We'll use the text box. I'll drag and drop the text box, and uh, I will make it multi line, so I can put uh, multiple lines here. And also, we need a button to perform the action. So uh, I will choose a button from this. So uh, I will name it. Uh, rename to the name the text to run okay and this one I will uh, the, the uh, text box name I will change to go up and I'll change to txt uh, text to text I'll, I'll rename as txt text so now we have uh, two controls here one is a text box another one is the run a uh, button we named as run and the uh, we named the, the button name is button, button one we can change these well these as well to btn1 for the simplified access so uh, now we have i will just make it smaller so i'll make this form smaller okay let's try to run this as you have heard, nothing will be nothing is there just a form where we can input the text and there's a button to perform the action for sure for sure nothing will happen because we didn't uh, program anything so uh, i'll stop this i will go to the uh, button it's a button and let's see let's code something to uh, per, to read the text and uh, uh, I have uh, I have I've already created the project so I'll refer to this but I want to program here so let's make a function called private void read text and we'll pass the parameter we'll expect the parameter parameters like a string text okay then uh, is text I'll make to text and we're gonna use the library Speech synthesizer. So, system.net the class speech synthesizer. For that, uh, what we'll do, uh, we'll add here using system.speech. 
okay we are using system dot speech and the class we have to create object from the class uh, speech uh, synthesizer you can see here the class name so I will be synthesizer call to new speech synthesizer so now we have created the object from the speech synthesizer class now uh, what we gonna do let's take the text from the text box first so our text uh, text box name is uh, what it was a uh, txt uh, txt1 dot text so i will take this text to the string uh, to a string called uh, sorry uh, so we have this text I'm, I'm passing here so what we'll do we will uh, first we will uh, dispose the synthesizer object okay then I will re initialize it in this way then we will go uh, and pass and we just just call the function called synthesizer synthesizer dot uh, speak a single so so I have added the uh, I have called the function called the speak sync async and pass the parameter text. Okay. Now we have to call the read text function from the button button call button click. So for that, first we will take the text to the text equal to txt text dot text and let's call the function read text of then pass the read text here. Sorry, uh, the, the, the text here. Okay, so now we have a button click here, and we are calling. A, we have created a function, small function, to uh, initialize the speech synthesizer and uh, call the speak I think function from the uh, system .net speech synthesizer class. So let's run this program now. You can see here uh, it is expecting uh, as a text. So I will add hello. Yes. Hello and run. Hello. I will. I hope you can hear it. Hello. It's giving me the text. Hello. And hello. Uh, how are you? Lad. How are you? So. Hello. How are you? See, it's giving the proper text as the speech. In How this, are you? In this way, you can give the numbers. One thousand. Then you have uh, like this. You can add anything. Ten million. See, so that's uh, I believe uh, you can utilize this uh, function in a in a in your real life for some other. Uh, if you are if you are have some challenges to uh, get the uh, speech for the to the uh, text that you are expected. That the test that you are giving so I hope the video will help you to uh, make a kind of small applications during uh, using uh, uh, Windows system dot sorry Windows forms application so uh, I will come up come up with another video thanks for watching